All right. So now we're going to bring on our even younger youth to come out and perform. This is our Filipino American Culture and Performing Arts team. They're uh, our dance troupe of FASO, which is uh, one of the uh, organizations here in the greater Cincinnati area. And I'm going to have my son, Jaron, go ahead and uh, introduce uh, his group here. Jaron Demeculangan, 11 years old and a fifth grader attending E.H. Green Middle School in Sycamore. I have been a member of the Filipino American Cultural Performing Arts Group since the beginning five years ago. The, the group was started in 2013 by a few FASO members who had this experiment, experience back when they were growing up and have decided to let us kids of this generation have the same experience. Our group consists of children 3 to 18 years old. We get together every Sunday, every weekend and learn cultural dances while gaining new friends in the community. This is one of the foundations of building a stronger Filipino-American community. Joining our group is strictly voluntary and me and my dance mates work hard to perform and share our cultural heritage and talent. This group is made possible through gener generous donations that we receive and we continue to ask from members of our community and the citizens of greater Cincinnati like you. Money raised in offerings during our performances and events and are used for costumes, props, workshops, conferences, and continuing education that support our group as we grow. Please help and support our growing team and through our demonstration, we hope you will find it in your hearts to assist us in continuing on with our endeavors. Maramin, salama, and enjoy the show. All right, so the history of Philippine folk dance or influences from immigrants and conquerors while at the same time maintaining distinct Filipino roots. Philippine folk dancing is a true reflection of past centuries while enchanting modern audiences. So at the end of our performance this afternoon, we will have some donation boxes up here on stage while you guys try some of these dances. We hope you can uh, help us out. So here we go with FACPA.
reason that those guys were wearing masks, that's a celebration called the Mascara Festival, also known as the Festival of Smiles because of their traditional smiling masks. The purpose to start the festival is to throw away all the sadness and the grief that was popping up in the area of Bacolod City during the early 80s. Each year, the most colorful festival comes together for almost a month at the beautiful Bacolod City of the Philippines. The entire month of October is full of parties and merriment. It was a time when local people, government, and civil groups decided to bring back the old smiles of the city. So the local people and government officials declared to organize a festival. And the only purpose of the festival was to change the gloomy atmosphere of the city. It was very much like German Oktoberfest meets Rio's Carnival meets New Orleans Mardi Gras. So in that performance, we actually had other than uh, our three to 16 year olds, we also had uh, parents of our dancers in there. So let's give it up for the parents putting it out there for us. All right, our next. Our next group is our Masketeers. So they performed this for a mascara celebration that we had a couple weeks ago, and they won the dancing contest that they answered with this. So here are our Masketeers. Mascara na, harina, it's booming bakola.
awesome job by our Masketeers. Our next dance is called the Ali Tap Tap. It's a Filipino folk dance that is usually taught to children. The Ali Tap Tap is the Tagalog for firefly or lightning bug. Here the dancers imitate the bug as it flutters in the rice fields. As they're preparing, uh, I had an announcement from one of our other Filipino local groups here that they'll be celebrating Philippine Independence Day um, at the uh, Kenton County Erlanger uh, Library Branch. So that's Saturday, June 9th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. where our dancers will be there. They've asked our dancers to be there, but there will be a bilingual story time and free bilingual books available. Enjoy the sights and sounds of the Philippines as well as some traditional food. So that's coming up here in a few weeks. Here we have the Ali Tap Tap. Next is Tiklos, which is a native peasant dance of Leyte. During breaks from working the farms, the leader beats the tempora, a kind of drum, to call upon the workers. Next come sounds of the subing bamboo flutes and the gumbial, gumbal, a small snare drum. The peasants would come out with garden tools and farm implements. The workers will eat, drink, tuba, a native wine, and dance. Here is the Tiklos.
Next is the Luby Luby. It is a Bricol dance, a combination of simple folk and social steps. Literally, Luby means coconut. A game called Luby Luby is played with coconut shells. According to the Bicol, this dance originated in Leyte and Samar, where it is still danced like the Palitao. Here is the Luby Luby. <laughs> So our next dance is called the uh, Binasuan. This colorful and lively dance from Bayambang in the Pangasinan province shows off the balancing skills of the dancers. The glasses that the dancers gracefully yet carefully maneuver are half filled with rice wine. Binasuan meaning with the use of a drinking glass in Pangasinan. It's often performed as entertainment at weddings, birthdays, and fiestas especially food festivals like Asian food festivals. Here is our Benesuan.
about that? No Velcro or Gorilla Glue on those heads. All right, here's the moment that I know all of you have been waiting for that are looking forward to Philippine dancing. Honored as the Philippine national dance, Tanik Ling is a favorite in the Visayan Islands, especially on the island of Leyte. The dance imitates the movement of the tickling birds as they walk between grass stems, run over tree branches, or dodge bamboo traps set by rice farmers. Dancers imitate the tickling birds' legendary grace and speed by skillfully maneuvering between the large bamboo poles. Watch closely, because you might have an opportunity to try it for yourselves. Let's give these little kids a round of applause. How much does it take to have the guts to stand up there in front of all of you? Alrighty, here we go with our Tanik Lane. Faster. I don't feel it. I don't think we can do it. Who wants to see that even faster? Who thinks they can do it? I see somebody raise your hand. I'm going to remember that here in about a couple minutes. I don't know, Jason. Do you think they want to see it faster? Come on, guys, you want to see us faster? Yeah. Just so you know, these kids have been performing uh, 
at over last year we did about four schools and a few different events all of this year just through the month of april we've performed at nine different schools all the way from princeton to lakota to sycamore through the region so and next week they'll be at the world affair up in dayton performing at the dayton convention center next saturday and sunday so that's a lot for this group so here we go with the fast to nickling American Cultural and Performing Arts team of Faso. Salamat. All right, we only have like five minutes to do the interactive uh, to Nick Ling, so we're going to bring the sticks down on the concrete. If you want to try it out, we've only got five minutes to try it, so we're going to have our little ones teach you guys. Don't worry, they're not going to close the sticks on you, but we're going to give you this opportunity to try it out, take some video and pictures uh, doing it. Uh, and we do have our donation box up here on stage, so if you uh, have the giving heart to uh, donate to them, that'd be great as well. 